Amazon has just came out with a huge update that is going to give us actionable insights for ASIN level data, especially for variation listings. My name is Lucas Kwiatkowski, founder of Nomads, hands-on and advanced PPC. And if you haven't opened up your brand analytics page or been following a lot of other Amazon experts, then what I'm talking about here is a search query performance page. If you go to brand analytics, you will see a new layout. You will see this tab search query performance. We used to have this on a brand level, but now we have it on ASIN level. So what this will let us do, and the simplest way to explain this, if you have a variation listing with child ASIN, you can take one child ASIN, put it in the search bar here under ASIN view, see exactly what search terms are working for that child ASIN. If you, and then if you put it in a different child ASIN, you will get different results. So finally, you can see if you have a, so you have a, a shampoo listing with five different scents. You can see, okay, how is your lavender scent performing on keywords compared to your orange scent or your mint scent? So diving right in here, there is a lot to unpack. And our team is just unpacking this as well. So we are just diving into this. All I wanna do for this video is go through this page and walk through some of the columns. So hopefully you can understand this page better and take some very actionable, simple steps for your brand. So I have an a, a ASIN in the search bar here. You can change the, the report range, weekly, monthly, quarterly. Um, I have, I'll just change this week here and do apply. Okay, so when you pull this up, it'll give you a search query score one at a time. So you can see there's a ranked one all the way through, I think a hundred that it gives you. So it gives you a hundred for only this child ASIN. Again, if I put in a different child ASIN here, I will get different search queries. That is the whole point of this. So this very first one here, rank number one, is telling me this is the most relevant search for this child ASIN that is working for me. If this exact search is not in my title, something is wrong. It's probably in my title. That's probably why it's ranked number one. But these top 10 here, you can see search volume, right? Actually, let me take a step back. I wanna go over these columns really quickly. These are broken down by four main columns. And there's an acronym that's gonna get thrown out. It's ICAP, ICAP. Think of that as a funnel. Top of funnel, ICAP, I is impressions. An impression is the very first thing that triggers an ad. A customer is seeing that ad, they're getting an impression. And then they click on it. C, they need to click on that ad. That's the next step in their shopping journey. ICAP, A, add to cart. If they click on it, now the next step is them to add it, to add to cart, cart ads. Still a lot of people fall off after they add it to cart, right? It's called abandoned cart. It's a very common problem. So the last step, the P is purchases. So that's how these are broken down. It's ICAP, and that's how you can think of them. Impression, click, add to cart, purchase. So it starts off with impressions, because if you're not getting impressions for a search query, nothing else is going to happen for that. So this is telling us search query volume, right? We know that that's the volume this is getting. Now, the total count, I believe that this is the absolute total impressions that this has got, right? Because the impression starts right here. So this is the total impressions that this has gotten. This is what this specific ASIN impressions has gotten. ASIN share. So when I'm looking at a table like this, I tend to look at percentages because so many things can be skewed just by looking at the numbers. So sure, you wanna look at the volumes as a whole, but the percentages really, really tell you more of the story. So now I'm getting an impression level share 
for this specific search term, and I can say 2.4%. Where this one down here, I'm getting 2.95%, but it has a much lower volume search query, okay? So now I'm going into clicks, and I can see my click rates, which is basically a click-through rate. Someone has seen the ad, now they have clicked on it. So I can see here that this is total number of clicks, okay, for my ASIN compared to the total number of clicks for this search term. So 123 divided by 4730. should give me that click rate. And actually, as we're looking at this here, I always wanna check myself and a lot of these seem redundant. And so if you go into that little uh, question mark there, I was curious about total count for clicks and ASIN count. So right, even I'm not knowing this exact language, that's why I'm, I'm learning this on the fly and sharing this with you guys. The total count for clicks is the total number of ASINs clicked. So that's ASINs on Amazon as a whole. The ASIN count is the total number of ASIN clicks for this query that we received for this ASIN, okay? So this is total number of ASINs on Amazon, specific ASINs that were clicked, and this is how many, how many clicks that we got. So ASIN count is what you're interested in here. And then ASIN share, and we can see that that's what I did there in real time is I divided 123 by 4730 and I got 2.6%. So all of this, there is, there is so much to unpack here. And I think what you really want to do is listen to Amazon and don't manipulate this data too much to start. Look at these top 10. Okay. And I know some of these are low volume, some of these are higher volume. And even if I sort this by search volume, right, I can see that, that this one that they give me with the most volume is ranked 88 for me. But for this specific ASIN, the second highest volume one is actually number two for me. So maybe I focus on that one. And this jump from 88 to two is I'm saying, okay, with that 88 ranked one, how can I improve that? Is that in my SEO? Am I bidding on that keyword? What are my metrics for that? Asian share is 0% for impressions, right? Clicks, one. Got one click on it. Okay. So all of this is what you want to do at the very least is if you have a master keyword list, I know I've been using data dive a lot lately for a master keyword list. This is going to help you build your master keyword list for each ASIN because that's really the goal. And I want to just pull up some very quick, big takeaways. And I know I'm going to be diving deeper on this. And I hope that this at least sheds some sort of light on this new tool. This is most useful for variation listings. If you have a standalone listing, you know what keywords are working for that because that's the only ASIN that is getting those clicks. If you have a variation listing, this data has never been easy to see clearly. So input different ASINs for variation listings on that page and just spend an hour and see how the search queries differ. For, stop, for top search terms from the search query, make sure they are in your SEO. They're probably the top ones for a reason because they're probably in your title and bullet points. If they're not, put them in there. Sorting by volume can tell you what you're missing, okay? So I would say sort by volume and then look at the percentages because that'll give you a really good breakdown of what's working and what's not working, All right? Now, I'm gonna be doing a lot more on this new brand analytics because they have been opening this up just in time for Q4. I hope this sheds some insight and, and I'll be curious to hear how this helps you improve your brand for Q4.